Welcome to A level and AP physics a place where you can improve your understanding of physics with confidence in today's class We will talk about quantum physics past paper question and this question is very important because this question is very common on A level exams in this lesson I'll explain to you what is threshold frequency and when kinetic energy of photoelectrons is maximum and how to sketch a graph between kinetic energy maximum and 1 over wavelength. Part A is simply asking us we need to explain what is threshold frequency. Threshold frequency simply means that let's say we have a piece of metal and we shine light on this one and let's say electron is emitted from this surface and this electron has no kinetic energy mean just emitted from the surface and just sitting here so the frequency of this electromagnetic radiation then we will call this is threshold frequency and this frequency is the minimum frequency of electromagnetic radiation we need for emission of electrons from a metal so that minimum frequency is called threshold frequency this is how you can write your answer so in answer you can see i have written here minimum frequency so minimum frequency is very important you have to mention minimum frequency of incident electromagnetic radiation to cause emission of electrons from a metal surface and threshold frequency depends on metal surface if we change the metal threshold frequency will change means we need different frequency of electromagnetic radiation for emission of photoelectrons with zero kinetic energy from metal surface part b is simply asking us we need to explain why the emitted electrons have a range of values of kinetic energy below a maximum value it simply means that if we have a metal surface and we shine light on this electrons will be emitted from this metal surface if the frequency of electromagnetic radiation is greater than the threshold frequency means if frequency of electromagnetic radiation is is greater than threshold frequency electrons will be emitted from the surface let's say this electron is emitted from metal surface and the kinetic energy of this electron let's say is equal to 600 electron volts another electron is emitted from below the surface and kinetic energy of that electron let's say is equal to 500 electron volts now in this case you can see these electrons even they are emitted from the same surface and same light is shining on the surface but these photoelectron they have a range of kinetic energy so this is what we need to explain and this simply we can explain based on law of conservation of energy so we can simply write down equation for conservation of energy so this is energy of coming photon and this energy is absorbed by electron and so the first one is the work function means electron will use this energy to release itself from atom and then here is the kinetic energy of electron photoelectron and plus electron also has to do work against attractive forces if electron is released from below the surface so attractive forces so attractive forces simply means that these are the forces between electron and ion because electrons negative ions positive so attractive forces if electron is coming from below the surface the electron has to overcome these attractive forces or simply we can say electron has to do work against these forces to reach the surface so that work done to reach the surface is here now if electron is emitted from the surface then this one will be zero and then this kinetic energy will be maximum possible kinetic energy of that electron and other electrons emitted from below the surface they will have different amount of kinetic energies depending on from where they are coming or simply we can say depending on that so this is all what we need to understand if we have this 
clear understanding now so we can write down our answer so here is uh, our final answer as you can see here now i have written this one for you so you can just see now here is our final answer you can see only the surface electrons they will have kinetic energy maximum the emitted electrons from different depths inside the metal they have different amount of energy because they have to overcome the surrounding bonds or simply we can say they have to overcome the attractive forces or the need to do work against attractive forces to reach the surface and escaping with the remaining kinetic energy as wf we have already mentioned so they have low kinetic energy compared to the surface electron and for surface electron we say they have kinetic energy maximum for part c simply we need to understand this graph as you can see here on y-axis we have kinetic energy maximum and on x-axis we have one over lambda part c one is simply asking us we need to use figure 7.1 to determine the threshold frequency without reference to the work function it simply means that we need to use this graph and we need to find out threshold frequency at threshold frequency this is the minimum frequency of electromagnetic radiation we need for emission of electrons when kinetic energy maximum of electron is equal to zero kinetic energy maximum is equal to zero it's simply this one is telling you you need to extend this line and this line will intersect this axis so at here if when it intersect x axis it means the kinetic energy will be equal to zero and at that point you can find value of one over lambda and then we can use this equation f naught is equal to c over one over lambda naught so from here we can find out value of threshold wavelength we can find out so we can find out threshold wavelength i simply i can write down threshold lambda you can find and then you need to use this equation and you can find out f naught so as you can see here now i have already drawn this line for you so from this line we have determined value of threshold wavelength as you can see one over lambda naught this is equal to this and uh, we just plug in values and this is over value of threshold frequency now the next question c2 is asking you use your answer in one and calculate work function energy and work function energy we simply understand work function is equal to h f naught and this is the threshold frequency now simply we need to plug in this value here and h is a Planck's constant and we will get our answer for work function. So here is uh, our final answer and this is how you can do these calculations. So this is our final answer for work function. We simply use this form. So this question is simply telling us cesium metal has a work function energy means the work function is given to us on the axis of figure 7.1 this is figure 7.1 sketch a graph to show the variation with 1 over lambda of Emacs for certain metal so if we write einstein's photoelectric effect equation hf this is equal to work function uh, plus we can say this is kinetic energy maxima we can rearrange this one we can bring kinetic energy maximum on one side and we can write down hf so i will I, we can also write down this is like this hf you can replace with hc over lambda minus work function now in this case let's say uh, we compare this one with straight line equation y is equal to mx plus c this is mx plus c now you can see one over lambda this is actually is x and hc this is the gradient of the line and this is gradient in this case we can simply write down gradient is equal to hc h is a constant c is a constant so it simply means that gradient is always constant it is not depending on metals 
even we change the metal gradient will be constant so simply we can say that gradient is constant now we understand the gradient of the new line also has to be the same means two lines have to be parallel as you can see work function is given to us we can calculate first of all one over lambda when we have value of one over lambda so it will intersect somewhere here and we will draw another line so let me show you how to draw that line so this is how you need to draw the line so this is for part d so this line you need to draw so what we have done here we have calculated first of all one over lambda and then we just need to draw line parallel to the previous line that's all Thank <laughs> you.